uh, these are the bits you need to um, make the rig that I caught this seven pound bass with. Uh, so I know it works. It's really good if you're fishing over clean ground, mixed ground. Um, you can fish over the snags with it, um, but ideally you'd be you'd be fishing onto something a little bit um, less snaggy, really. Two types of line you need for this rig: 40, 50 pound grease weasel, and then you want your. So here's two we made earlier. We got an 18 inches there of 50 pound line, and we've actually got 25 pound line there as well for the hook snood. So first thing to do is tie the leg clip on. We're using a swivel with this one. Um, it does stop it all twisting up, particularly because we're going to use a bait clip. Um, so the knot we use, we've tied it before, like a blood knot really. One, two, three, four, five turns round. That's all I use on that one. Through the hole, moisten it, and then pull it tight. And when you're pulling it, you're just nicking that tail end through there with my thumb and fingers, uh, thumb and forefinger and then pulling it quite tight. Let's take quite a bit of pressure that and clip the tail end off. Then one, we're going to take one of these bait clips or relay clips as they're marketed as and they come with this tubing to hold it all in place. Okay so we've got 18 inches of the line here 40, 50 pound uh, line and then we're going to start threading things down now towards this clip. So the order in which you want to do it for this rig will be clip off the tubing slightly shorter than the um, that piece there on the end of the clip and we've cut that so that it's slightly smaller than the distance between there and there and that can actually just go around there like that okay thread that down to the bottom now at this point you could actually thread a sequin down here and I'll show you why in a minute it's because we're just going to use a crimp that acts as a bait stop and stops everything flying up that line so okay for that part of the rig then you can see there you've got your your clip in place and then you've got your crimp there you could put the sequin in there okay just stops uh, this causing a problem and you put the tubing over the bait clip and you want to crimp it about that distance apart and that gives enough flex so that when the weight hits the bottom on the seabed there should be enough give there for the hook hook to come off and also it presents the bait reasonably well at the bottom of the rig depending on what bait you had and if you had a big long tail on the on the bait and also if you used a a, a panel rig um, you'd you'd adjust that so leave it leave it like that for now and then at the other end of this, I'm just going to cut across this line to make it a bit more pointy. And onto that we put this 5mm bead. Now you can have slightly smaller or larger beads, depends on the swivel size. Um, using these swivels, as long as the bead obviously isn't smaller um, than the eye of that swivel. Okay, so we've got... The next thing down was a bead, then a swivel and then we're going to add another bead. Now I'm using these coloured beads here but if you are fishing for bass I'd be tempted to use the black ones or clear ones. Um, I'm, anything that spooks a bass I'm, I'm wary of myself. So, And then, that's the assembly up till now. So you've got 18 inches of the 40-ish pound line. You've got your swivel there okay, and then your clip for the lead. And then you've got your um, what's going to be used as a bait clip a crimp that we haven't crimped yet, a bead, a swivel and a bead. And then to the end of that I'm going to tie another swivel, slightly smaller this time, still a hundred pound swivel. That's going to go on here, same knot that we've been using. One, two, three, four, five, through the hole, moisten it. Okie dokie. Okay, so that's half of it, half of it done there. And then the idea is that this swivel here, where it's free on this end, is going to go to your main line. And depending on the ground that you're fishing, you're going to want, say, 20 pound line here. We're going to use 25 for the demonstration. Obviously, it depends on the, the type of fish you're after and how, how vicious the rocks are, really. So tie that on in the usual way. We still have to set this and crimp it in there. 
Um, so you've got a little bit of a leeway um, as to how long to tie the hook snood. But that's your, um, so we've got um, a 2-0 sort of long shanked hook there, depending on what bait you're fishing. Um, tie that on. And then without crimping, all I'm going to do is hook that onto there. Okay, pull that right down to the end. And then hold that in place and then just follow this line all the way through up to the other end, giving it a little bit of play there. So it's going to be crimped at about there, being really careful not to um, crimp the line. Okay. So at the top of the rig there, with your two black beads, I'd recommend using if you're after the bass. And then at the other end there, you've got the bait clip attached to the hook, um, which keeps things nice and tight.